and restarted the um, the recording. So this is again, it's the 25th of March. This is week 10, Design 330. We're going to talk about the milling program. So some of you did get uh, part of your milling program submitted, and I've been able to review them. I'm going to show you how you can go through it for somebody too. Now, what I'm finding is, uh, so far, I haven't gotten one that goes through all the way. So this may or may not apply properly, but you can make a few adjustments on the fly for them as you go. So I'm going to pick one. Now, I've got my milling program set up, my command list, so that I can refer to it. Um, I don't think anybody who submitted had any added or extra commands on it so i'm going to go ahead and just run one of these and just see see what it looks like and i'm going to actually do two things at once i've got this mostly memorized so as we look at um people's ones so i'm gonna i'm gonna run michelle's right now so i'm getting a download I'm going to upload it, and I'm going to try to put it, I'm going to, so hers looks pretty much like mine, so I think I can just look at this, and I'm going to move this over to here now, and try to get it put up onto this one, there we go, and so I've got those, and then I can move over to get those. So, and if I, if I can't remember what one of these are, I'll go ahead and do this. Now, um, I did note that as I was looking at this, there are no speed adjustments on here. I am going to insert the speed adjustments. So I've already made some notes um, about speed adjustments and uh, going into fast travel for certain spots when you get to the to, to the manual travel. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make comments as I go as to this. So here we go. I'm, I'm into this. SM1 is set my fast travel, then go manual travel. And I, you see the speed isn't as fast as I want it to be. So I'm going to go to 100% speed. And I'm going to go try to find my center. And now I'm going to put my speed back down. So those two things were not addressed here. So I should have had a TTM X at high speed. And now I should have one at a little bit lower speed so that I can get my X a little bit, little bit closer. That looks, that looks like I'm pretty good on it. So then I can put my fast travel back up, run back up to here, and run it back down again. I'm on my TTMY, my TT manual. And so I, I think I'm pretty good there. All right, RZ0, that's reset my zero. So I just did that. SC5, choose 25 millimeter. Uh, turn my power on. And so this one should have had a set speed here because I want to set my speed when I'm running up to full speed. Okay, so I just turned my power on. Then I turn my power off, go to fast travel. And I TTY to minus 2.424. And you'll see as I do that, it's very hard for me. I'm looking at these numbers up here. 2.42. So on my fast travel, it's hard to get. So I'm going to put my travel down pretty slow to get to 2.424. So that was a little part of the program that wasn't there. But as, a, as an operator, I can add some lines, 2.4. 259. That's pretty close. Um, then I think I was on full travel, so I'll go back to full travel. I, 
I did my step eight. So now I'll power on SM2. And I'm going to go TTX minus 2.424. And I'm just running my cut. Okay, so now I'm watching. One, two, three. That's pretty close to 2.424 minus 2.424. Step 11 is TTY to plus 2.424. So now I'm going to start cutting in this direction. But we're just watching now. If I was doing this on a on a real mill during one of each of these operations, I would probably be cleaning another part or expecting another part if this was all being run by the computer. If it wasn't, I'd be cranking a handle right now or having my finger on a button as I have now. So I'm going to TTY plus 2.424. That's pretty close to so 2.4. Uh, oops, I was shooting for 2.424. This is why computers do it better than I do it. That's pretty close to 2.424. It's a couple of thousands. That's about as good as I'm going to get. So then my number 12 is TTX to plus 2.424. Two oh, something's going wrong there. So I'm over the top of it. So I don't know that I'm actually doing anything right now. All right, so... So that's how far I'll go, but that's how you figure things out. Let's do a measurement, three point, I'm measuring 3.9. So, um, so these numbers are not quite there. There's something up with those numbers to get to the, the place that I'm going to. All right, so there we go. That's that part of it. There's a mil sim, so I could... I could send this back after I'd run the whole mill. So if you get to a point where it's obviously not working anymore, you can just give the person some feedback. Okay, so that's how we do the milling program and talk about that. Um, so there we go. That's That's what we've got. So back to this again, remember that what I'm looking for on assembly drawings and the like in the product book is this needs to be useful. A person who's using this needs to be able to know what it is, know what the drawing number is, and have links to the actual file so that if they needed to, they could pull it up, print it out, start working with it, 
start revising it, start making it, whatever they needed to do. Okay, and then you will have your actual images of those here. Um, and then these can even, if they fit better sideways, that's okay. Um, and then these, if it if you've got the time, these should be linked too, which should be pretty sim simple because you've got them here, right? But somebody needs to be able to look at this product book and really understand a, what a drawing is, what it's for, and how to get their hands on it. So there we go. That's That's actually our lecture. It's a pretty quick and simple lecture right now. You can see that these milling programs are actually pretty hard when you run it yourself and do exactly what it says to do. Uh, you have to sort of, okay, I don't know. Uh, and maybe I did something wrong here. Maybe I did minus 2.242 when I did this cut. Could be that I that I typed something in wrong. Um, but do your best to, to run that and see what it looks like. All right. There we go. I'm going to stop.